This is going to be an energy reading for Capricorn. If you are Cap, Capity Cap, Cap, Capcorn, okay, this energy reading is going to be for you, love. All right, we're going to get ready and dive straight in and ask my higher self, the most high, and the ascended masses to help me in this intuitive reading. For Capricorns, at the bottom of the deck, we have, I'm in love with someone else. Fire energy, somebody is in love with someone else. Okay, Cap, let's see. For Capricorn spirit, what does Cap mean to know? We have, I can't lose you. Water energy, but there's someone who feels like they can't lose you. Okay. I hope it's not this person who's standing in love with someone else saying that they can't lose you because it's kind of giving me mixed emotions and you don't want nobody who has mixed feelings for you. We have allow me some time to work on myself. This could be someone who is still trying to figure themselves out when it comes to their emotions. Because it's kind of giving me mixed emotions. Like somebody's in love with someone else, yeah, but they have feelings for you. They feel like they can't lose you. I don't know if you emotionally support this person, but this is someone who's asking you to allow them some time to work on themselves. We got, please talk to me. This can be someone who you've been um, in little to no communication with. Fire energy can be significant. Aries Leo Sage. Okay, for Capricorn spirit. We have, I'm confused about how I feel about you. What did I say? What did I say? This is someone who's conflicted. It's kind of giving me like they love you, but they love someone else too. Maybe this is someone who doesn't really want to choose or they just got to still work through some things. At the bottom of the deck, we have my life hasn't been easy. Okay, I hear something from you and I'm afraid to tell you about it. Okay, I don't have those type of feelings for you. And then things move too fast and I didn't know how to trust my feelings for you. This person got mixed emotions, y'all. They just, just period. They, got, they don't know if they in love, out of love. Okay, like they said, things move too fast. They didn't know exactly how to trust their feelings for you. Because it's like they saying that they don't have that type of feelings for you. But at the same time, they're saying that they kind of do have that type of feelings for you. They got me confused. Like they literally, they literally got me confused. Fire and water energy is significant. I feel like this person, they think about you a lot and that's possibly why they could be confused because they still have feelings for somebody else. Yes, but it's like their feelings for you could be growing or something or to just have all these newfound emotions about you and it's confusing him i'm in love with someone else i can't lose you it's like they're going back and forth someone could be mental jousting five of swords energy aquarius energy could be significant someone's like mental jousting and right in the middle is like allow me some time it's like this person is like allow me some time to figure things out Especially when it comes to working on me, my emotions. Because this could be somebody who's very passionate about you. Like, I'm getting that for sure. This is someone who's very passionate about you. But when it comes to their emotions, they're really confused. It's like they, they're in love with someone else. But they get this feeling like they can't lose you. But they don't. they can't really put their finger on how it is that they feel about you. I don't have those type of feelings for you. I don't feel like with this, I don't have them type of feelings for you. I don't feel like maybe it's like they have love for you, but they're not in love with you. Like they need you there possibly for like the emotional support. Or again, maybe it's just kind of triggered them. The fact that things move so fast with y'all. They didn't know how, like, how to, like, how to feel, like, how they should feel about the situation. If they should trust their feelings for you, because it's someone who knew for a fact that they possibly love someone else. But it's like, they like, can I love you and someone else too? Like, it's kind of giving it. I don't know if they're still moving on from someone else or if they're in a situation with someone else. But this is someone who doesn't trust their feelings that they feel about you. They're confused about it. For some reason, they're confused about it.
Mmm. For Cap. Let's see. For Cap Capricorn, we got the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This could be someone who was being dishonest. Okay. About betraying you. This could be someone who uh, has a low self-esteem. This could have been someone who was jealous of you. This could be someone who's like an attention seeker. Okay, they wanted to create some type of um, delays for you. Out of jealousy. What is this? What for Cap? We got the Six of Cups. This is someone who's nostalgic about you. It's kind of giving me like a jealous lover. Like, like they want to be your lover, but they being dishonest about the fact that they lack confidence in themselves and they're attention seeker and maybe you get attention and that gets that makes them jealous for Capricorn. We have the nine of wands in reverse. Yeah, this is definitely someone who's frustrated. Feeling defensive towards you. I feel like because um People feel attracted to you with the hangman card here, Pisces, Cancer, energy. Someone's definitely going to get a change perspective about someone who could have left them hanging, kept left, left them waiting. We have the nine of cups here, Pisces, energy. This is someone who's very selfish. I'm also seeing... Someone choosing themselves, choosing to be happy with themselves, staying optimistic and hopeful. When it comes to an ex-lover, y'all could have an ex-love who was very selfish. You could begin to change perspective about why this person was very defensive towards you, Capricorn, in the past. And I feel like the reason why this person was very defensive towards you in the past is because this is someone who... It's kind of giving me vanity in a way, but it's more like someone who is really a, a attention seeker, attention hog, or they take pride in riches or some of the sort. And you could be very successful, victorious. Um, you get a, you get a lot of attention, and it's like this person is jealous of that because it's like they want to be in your position. They want to be. The one who is being seen. They want the one who's the, they want to be the one who's getting the attention. But if you get all the attention, you're taking the attention off of them and they're jealous of that. And it has them frustrated and really defensive towards you, especially if this is someone who you were dealing with in the past, an ex lover, because they didn't like the fact that you were successful and you got attention and you come off as someone who is approachable. That's kind of what it's giving me. Like people feel comfortable to approach you. I don't know if it's like this person ain't really that approachable, you know? It's kind of giving me like when people had that um, rest in, the, the rest in bitch face, you know what I mean? Like, and you be like, I don't know if I should go talk to them type of thing. Like, you don't give off them vibes. Or maybe if you did, like people will still feel comfortable to come around. You could be your energy. But this person felt really defensive about that. You begin to change perspective now that you've been finding fulfillment within yourself. Getting a feeling of belonging within self, you know. You could have had a lot of compassion for this person. Okay, had high hopes when it came to the situation with this person. But I feel like this person was very frustrated. Now they could be frustrated at the separation. But this is someone who... may have needed to practice something in moderation as well with a temperance card here. We have the Ten of Wands here because whatever it is that they're needing to practice moderation with, I feel like it has them feeling way down. <clears throat> 
I'm hearing sharing the limelight. It has something to do with them sharing the limelight. They could have left you hanging, left you waiting on them, had you feeling way down. You could be alchemizing the situation. You could have been really frustrated with this person. But there was something that someone needed to, to see more clearly when it came to who they were working and collabing with, cooperating with. Cause someone left someone hanging for their own selfish gain. Like that's what I keep hearing. Somebody left someone hanging and this is for their own selfish gain to get attention. Cause they were feeling way down when it came to you receiving attention and them not getting the attention that they felt like they needed, but it's like they're over, they were overindulging in it. Like they needed to let someone else share the limelight and you're an earth angel. You, you, you are an attractive person. Like people find comfort in your energy. Like you make people happy. Your energy is like a happy energy, a tranquil energy. And this person was feeling way down because they didn't come off that way. It made them really envious, possibly of your light. Your, your light irritated this person. 11.44 on a timestamp. That's probably why they're confused about their feelings for you. Because they could still be feeling wounded and defensive when it comes to somebody who they feel like took their, their light in the past. And this could be a lover, a loved one, somebody they, they feel like they are still in love with. Hmm. We have the fool's car here, though. Whoever this is, they're wanting to take a leap of faith towards you to work in collab on something, but they need to get a change perspective about why they were feeling weighed down and defensive towards you in the first place. That's where that mixed emotions is, because I feel like this person, yes, they have emotions for you, but it's like they don't like the attention you get. I mean, they don't, they like to be the center of the the show. They like to be the main character of the stage. They like to be, I guess, the person that everybody finds to be the attractive one in the situation. But I feel, and this person could be attractive. I'm not saying that they're not attractive. They could be maybe very attractive, but it's like something about your energy, something about how you carry yourself emotionally, like maybe you don't look stuck up. That's what I'm saying. Something about the rest in the bitch face is significant. Like you don't look stuck up. You look approachable. Like people feel comfortable coming towards you, being in your energy. Like you may even give people a feeling of nostalgia. So they may express to you things that that's been going on with them. Like you're an earth angel. So maybe you alchemize energies. And so people feel compelled to come towards you. But somebody's envious of that. They're envious of the light, how you attract people. I don't know if this person felt at one point that they were more attractive to, um, than you or if they were used to people who were less attractive so that they could get the most attention. But regardless, I feel like when, when it came to you, it made them feel like their light was dimmed. But I feel like it has more of a confidence issue than anything else. It has nothing to do with you dimming a light it's the fact that they aren't confident in their own light it's kind of what it's given or they just felt less confident in their light when you came around because you just shine a little bit more brighter sometimes and that's just sometimes how it is but again this person needs to be confident in themselves yeah because with this um queen of wands here every leo sash i feel like that's you're very attractive. You you attract people, whether you think it or not. It's a spiritual thing for sure. Like you attract people because you're an earth angel. You kind of bring out nostalgia in people. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of like you just give people a feeling of comfort. People, random people might come and feel comfortable having a conversation with you. Cap, you know what I mean. And they'll tell you stuff that happened in their past and you're helping them to kind of alchemize it, not even knowing, just allowing them to kind of just tell you things. 
is helping to alchemize this energy for them. But somebody was feeling way down and defensive about this, about the attention and attraction you had. They were really restless about it in their head. Eight of Swords, Four of Swords. That's damn near the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands here. This person could have been talking a lot about you restlessly. This is someone who felt stuck, stagnant. Libra, Gemini energy could be significant. They were in their head with uncontrollable thoughts. Overthinking about how they felt weighed down and defensive towards you because of you getting attention, you being attractive. Like it's like it's like they love you and hate you at the same time. Or they don't know whether or not to love you or dislike you because they're used to be in the center of attention. That's kind of what it's given. Like, and this person could have wanted you to like step down with the attraction, but it's not necessarily you. Yes, yeah, you, but it's not you. Like, I can't explain it. It's like, it's you. Yes, people are attracted to you, but it's not your fault that people feel compelled to come towards you or feel comfortable around you or, you know, feel like you're somebody who is very balanced or temperate or, you know what I'm saying? Cause I feel like other people realize this about you that you are very attractive. The crown is shining around her, so maybe you 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 have divine knowledge that people are attracted to as well. And this is someone who's always stuck in their head. I just feel like this person is like, they really liked you or they, they have feelings for you, but they're envious of you at the same time. Because they want the attention, the attraction that you have. But this is someone who allows doubts and fears to come in the way when it comes to their attraction. Or just being fulfilled with themselves. We have the three of pinnacles, four of pinnacles here, sorry. This was someone who wanted to kind of control your light. Something about someone not allowing someone to rest. Someone could be trying to control someone, control their life by not allowing us. That's kind of manipulative. Someone's trying to control someone either with material gain, with security, or by controlling their sleep, by having them have be exhausted Want them to be restless, feeling way down to dim their light. So someone is like someone is someone gonna have to make a sacrifice when it comes to somebody who they're gonna get a change of perspective about. This is someone who someone is trying to make feel way down and restless and tired and less attractive. Like they want they feel like it's gonna make someone feel less attractive if they're restless and tired and burdened with a lot of responsibilities and obligations and work. And they feel like this is gonna have them in their head. Like this is someone who's in their head overthinking a lot about how they could get so, to dim someone's light to make them feel, it's like to make them feel more attractive. This is horrible. We have a two of pinnacles here. But I'm definitely seeing someone trying to find balance or adapting to the change or the, to adapting to their circumstance when it comes to maybe them being a little sleep deprived, maybe realizing somebody's trying to control them, control their light. Or 
Okay, we have the Ace of Cups here. Definitely seeing, this could be someone that someone was given unconditional love. This is a lesson when it comes to unconditional love and self-love. Like someone was brought into someone's life to show them unconditional love. Someone was brought into someone else's life to show them self-love. Because whoever this is, there's someone who possibly needed unconditional love. I don't know if somebody was trying to con control them by creating some type of imbalancement in this person. Some about sleep is significant. So this could be someone who's sleep deprived, who's been in their head. I don't know if somebody's trying to keep them sleep deprived by weighing them down with so much. It's like, or somebody's doing this to themselves. I don't know. It's really giving me like though, somebody is envious of somebody's attraction how attractive they come off. And this could even be someone who has love for you, but they confused, they got mixed emotions. Cause this is also someone who is like, they're envious and jealous of your light. They're trying to dim your light at the same time of being in love with you. It's really weird with the three of swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, that's the bitter truth. Oh my God, like it's weird. Someone is definitely suffering in silence, heartbroken, especially if there's a separation. Like if somebody moved away from somebody, I don't see a move, but I'm just seeing maybe just, this could have been a past situation, but somebody's heartbroken about this, suffering in silence, about being selfish, things are being made fair, Libra energy, heavy on the Libra energy. For some, this could have been maybe someone's child someone's doing this to, or just someone had this idea. To plot on someone, to have them feel. I feel like low of themselves, but it really had helped someone like when it came to like raising their standards and commitments, um, like saving them from their, uh, from heartbreak. This is the empress who's going through a change, a transformation. Okay, we're making the necessary changes. We have divine masculine energy here with the emperor card. This could have been a masculine who was at war with himself. He needed to go through an ego death. This person could have been envious of a empress who was working on themselves, plotting on them, trying to do magic on them. This cycle is closing out. This is so weird, Cap. This person looks at you as very accomplished, like, but I see that you're, you're choosing a different path, okay? And that's the truth, truth and clarity. Okay, trust your intuition about somebody who y'all releasing and walking away from. Okay. Because I feel like um, y'all are headed towards wish fulfillment. But whoever this is, they're stressing themselves out because, I don't know, it's like they're battling um, a part of them that's in the past, like an old, a old part of them. Like they, I don't know if they didn't get attention from their mom or maybe that's what it was. Maybe their mom used to keep them real sleep. Like, I don't know, something of the sort. Like, it's like this person could have had a mother figure or somebody like at a sword who tried to dim their light to the point that they kind of got Mm, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how this person gets to a point where they always want the attention. It's like someone always 24, 42 on a timestamp. It's like they, they need to be the center of attention. And when the attention is off of them, they start feeling way down and hurt and in their head like trying to find a way to get the attention back on them it's like a them thing it's not really you and it's kind of almost like 
they almost want to blame you for why it is that they feel like their light is dimmed. And that's why they're confused because it's not you. It's not you. It's some type of twisted thing that could have maybe happened to them in the past, in their childhood. Like someone could have made this person feel like they were dimmed out. I mean, you know, could have dimmed their light. And so now they chase the attention, the attraction, because they didn't get the attention or whatever from whoever in the past could have hurt their feelings, broke their heart. And so now, you know, they have to be the center of attention in their connections or it makes them feel less of themselves. Like that's kind of what it's given. And I don't feel like you were trying to make this person feel less of themselves. You just, your light shined bright. You can't help that, that you have, you know, an attraction to you that people feel comfortable around you to share. Like, it's a healing energy. You have a healing energy. This person knows that you have a healing energy. That's why they possibly attracted to you, too. Like, you were brought to this person's life to kind of help them heal in some type of way. To see them see something about themselves that they needed to heal. And I feel like it's that, that clout chasing, needing attention energy or taking pride in riches type of energy but it's more like it's giving me more so capricorn this is has something to do with your aura your energy your this angel like energy that you give off that people feel comfortable enough to come towards you possibly even talk to you about things that possibly ain't even none of your business they just feel comfortable to tell you because you have that earth angel energy like you help people alchemize things possibly by just them telling their truths yeah you were definitely divinely led to this person for them to get receive signs and synchronicities when it comes to the choices that they've made in love and how possibly they even project on the people their insecurities this could have been somebody who's projecting their insecurities onto you but that is the energy reading for capricorn